In this video, we will be reviewing the basics of vancomycin dosing with the sawchuck zasky method. At a high level view, the sawchuck zasky method involves obtaining two drug levels, whether you're at steady state or not does not matter, calculating a patient-specific elimination constant and volume of distribution using basic algebra, and then finally determining a new dose, again using algebra and the pharmacokinetic parameters that were calculated in the previous step. To get a little bit more into the weeds, what actually is occurring are a couple steps. So the first step is um, obtaining two drug levels of vancomycin for a patient. And that's really the barrier to entry for this method, the Sachik-Zasky method, is that instead of getting one level, you have to get two drug levels for a patient. Using those two drug levels, the next step is to use this equation, which is the half-life equation, to determine a patient-specific elimination constant, or KEL. And if you rewrite that equation, um, you can solve for KEL. The terms in the equation here are shown on the slide to the left, uh, but we have a lower level, typically a trough level, a higher level, typically a peak level, and a known time between those two levels. And using the rewritten version, you can solve for a patient-specific elimination constant that is really not an estimate, but a true calculation of that patient's pharmacokinetic parameter. Depending on the type of drug levels you obtain, uh, you may need to back extrapolate a true peak and or a true trough for a patient because we need those values for the next step. So if your peak level was drawn a little bit late, you might have to go back and figure out what would that drug level be as a true peak. And again, if your trough level was drawn a little bit too early, you may have to use the equation right here, which is again that half-life equation, and basically come up with what is the true trough or the true minimum value of uh, vancomycin for that patient. Now the reason that we did that back extrapolation is that the next equation does require a C max or peak and a C min or a trough for a patient. And if you didn't have those values based on when the timing of your draw was, you may have to mathematically calculate those. Now in the next step, we're really interested in figuring out what is this patient's volume of distribution. That's one of the two pharmacokinetic parameters that this method will allow us to calculate. The other being the elimination constant or the clearance of vancomycin. So using this equation with a given dose, a given infusion time, a given elimination constant that we calculated in the previous step, um, we can use this equation to figure out a patient-specific volume of distribution. And this is really the, the next step that we need in order to dose vancomycin for a patient. Now, if a patient is not at steady state and they've only received one single dose, this whole term will actually be zero because C min will be zero, meaning that they didn't have a previous minimum trough concentration before dosing was initiated. Now, what happens is using the sachuk zasky method, we'll use the math that we just went through to come up with a patient-specific volume of distribution and a patient-specific elimination constant. And there is a relationship between these two terms called clearance uh, that we can also calculate as well. But really, these two terms are what we need for equations that come next. And those equations include coming up with a peak level for a patient, a trough level for a patient, and an AUC for a patient with a given dose and dosing frequency or tau. So if we give a patient one gram IV every 12 hours, we can figure out what will their peak level be, what will their trough level be, then of course what their AUC will be, and whether that dose is appropriate based on what our pharmacokinetic targets for the patient are. If you'd like to see this method in action, the updated version of the ClinCalc.com vancomycin calculator does both Bayesian modeling and the sachuk zasky method based on the parameters of the patient and which one would be more appropriate based on the drug levels drawn for the patient. 